All right, let's take a look how artillery and uh, counter artillery fire works in the game. I think it's a really cool mechanic um, that works well. Um, the way, what we want to look at here is how the Germans are going to respond to us firing on them. So I got this little fake scenario. Uh, here are the Allies with two vehicles, a couple uh, yes, troops, and medium field artillery and a commander or a, um, a captain, I guess, and he's got binoculars. And so I've got fog of war turned on. So if I turn that clipping off. So zooming out, you can see that with Rob's realism, their natural field of view is quite large. And they're looking in different areas here. So they can see a lot around them, but they can't see the Germans and the Germans are up here. Now, if I switch to um, number one on the numerical key keyboard, now we look at the German point of view and their cone of view and their range of sights and their different sights that they're looking at. And they have a commander and they have howitzers. Now, their commander is just within shouting range. He's commanding, he's up ahead of his crew and he's looking now there's no train in this map, which may, would make it even more interesting, but just to show the basic mechanics and keeping it very simple. So he's up there, he hasn't heard anything, and he's just smoking, but he's up in front of his guys, and he's got binoculars. If I, But they're not in his hand right now, we could put them in his hand. It, the AI will put the binoculars or get them ready by themselves. But he's got binoculars, but he hasn't heard anything, he's hanging out. There's another German artillery crew out of shout distance from the commander, way over here, just to show that they have to be within shouting distance of range to get instructions to fire. So that's exactly it. That's what I want to demonstrate how this all works. Artillery can work by direct control. So you can grab your artillery and you can direct fire at the ground or you can tell them what to fire at as long as they're within range. But that's manual control. This is how the game does it all on its own. And it's even more interesting. So the game AI needs spotter. Like this, this artillery crew will fire on something if it's within this short range. Well, because it's Rob's, it's generally a pretty long range. But they can only fire within their view distance here. So an enemy would have to drive in here, make some noise, get their attention. They would be, see it and they would fire on it on their own. But the more interesting way and what the game will do for longer range artillery, they will use the commander's binoculars and the commander. And the commander can be within shouting range, so he can be even further up. He can be within roughly 100 game yards. So, you know, if you imagine him being able to turn around and shout to his, his uh, howitzer troops, where to fire and what to do so and plus he has binoculars which he can see up to 250 game meters so roughly out here and when he grabs his binoculars you'll see a, a disc light up as he's looking at different parts on the ground so that's how the basic um, elements work mechanics so that's the Germans and their point of view they're hanging out they can't see the Allies and the Allies can't see them so let's switch on the numerical keypad back to two, which is the Allies side. Now, let's start the scenario. So we start it up and nobody's gonna fire because nobody can see each other. Now, if I switch back to the Allies, we can see their point of view only. And um, nobody's firing and nobody's aware of each other. But in this game, let's say that our commander he hears some tank engines or some noise um, in the distance, so he moves up. But he stays within shouting range of his guys because even if he sees something, if he can't shout to them the information, they, you know, if he if he moves too far up, they won't get the information. They won't fire, and we'll demonstrate that. So he's within uh, good range there. He can talk to his dudes. He grabs his binoculars. Now, if I go into, now audio in the game is very important. It's not just a bunch of random chit chatter. Um, 
the more you learn about the game, the more that you notice that a lot of audio in the game is giving you information on what everybody's doing. So if I go into direct control, he will take out his binoculars and I can move it around and start looking. Now you can see where he's looking because it lights up up to 250 meters away. That's within range. All right. So I don't want to, I know where the Germans are, but I don't want to use this mode because he would actually move his binoculars and the, our, our uh, howitzer crew would probably kill all the Germans. For, the, for demonstrating how it works, I want just to reveal one mortar and then to fire on one mortar. And then we're going to see the German reaction. So to do that, I'm going out of direct control. I'm using F6 button and I'm going to fire his binoculars, so to speak, at a certain point on the ground. Now, so let's see. Once he focuses in, he doesn't see anything yet. Let's move over here. Let's see his eyes focus in. He's too far away, so I'm going to have him move up a little further. Stand to, you tossers. But not too far. I don't want him out of range. Get back to his binoculars. So F6 again, and about here he should get a howitzer in his view. No, nope. let's try here. Now there, okay, so I'm going to just move it over here. So you hear him say firing. He's already told, he shouted to his guys, and I'll have them stay here. But these guys have been alerted. He's told them what's up. That howitzer crew is starting to move their elevation wheel on their howitzer they're putting it he's given them targeting information and what the enemy is and what shell to use so they have the right shell he wants a high explosive shell and they'll change different shells according to what they need to use so he was within shout range he's told them what's going on they're going to fire on where he's looking okay they're going to fire here and they're going to fire until their the howitzers always fire in a set of four, three or four shells. So they're going to fire until these are destroyed or until their set is done. Now let's switch over to the Germans. Now the Germans haven't heard anything yet. They're not alert. They haven't been looking. They haven't heard anything. They're just hanging out. Their field of view is normal. Now let's just wait and see how they respond naturally in the game. All right, so their commander, let's see, he hasn't taken his binoculars yet because they're not, you'll see this go blue in his kit here when he takes his binoculars. He's a little bit in shock, but he hears something in the distance. When you see his cone of movement start to move, he's going to start moving up to see what's going on, or he'll get his binoculars out. It's totally random what he, he'll do. So right now, he's on one knee. He's trying to figure out what's going on. He hears something here. He's going to do something shortly. He's got to decide what to do. And sometimes the game will immediately get the binoculars out. And um, in some of the tests I've done, he immediately will grab his binoculars and start searching. Sometimes he moves up by a foot and just gets his natural view. Now this time he's he's sitting back. Some of their crew is still alive so that they'll be able to. But we've stopped firing because their set is finished or what they've wanted to kill has been killed. But they're gonna our guys will probably start firing again oh, man. until what's been killed in the view has been killed. Now now there goes their commander after that onslaught he's got to go and start looking what's going on. now he's doing this just naturally and like i said some scenarios he'll do it immediately sometimes he hangs back it's random which adds a lot of flavor to the game you never know exactly what these german commanders will do but they do follow a basic uh, rules of play so now in his natural view he's seen this enemy vehicle he switched to his binoculars to get a better look and the binoculars gone blue and the disc shows up. So now 
He gets down. He says, oh, my God, there's enemy. There, there's some vehicles. He hasn't seen the howitzer because our howitzer stopped making sound or noise. So he's, he's still looking around, but he's seen these vehicles, and now he's focused on these vehicles. But he's got a problem. He's too far out. He's had to run too far up. So his howitzer crew isn't doing anything yet because they don't have the information. You can see there... They're sitting back waiting for their commander to come back with some information or to tell them what to do. Now, the German captain, commander, is gathering information like he should. He's, he first sighted it naturally, then he went to his binoculars to get a more in-depth view, to get more information. He's laying low, he's on his belly. He's checking to see if there's any movement, what to do. And let's see what he does next. He's just taking a bit of time. And it's, it's random, but sometimes he immediately takes action. Sometimes he'll search, do other things, but he will do something. So. Every once in a while, he, he looks in this direction just a little bit. But he's seen no other action. Now he's made a comment in German. Now he's moving back. I don't know what he said in German, but whatever. He's going back. He's going to tell his guys what he's seen. So he's, he's going back. Now he's, he's yelled out something. Let's see if he's got the information to his guys yet. Not He's still too far out. Now he was within range of these guys, and he told these guys in German, if you heard what he said, four Zs or something, which means fire or something. These guys have the information. He was close enough to yell to them. Once he gets close to these guys, he'll probably give these guys the information too. So these guys are getting ready to fire. Yeah, now, now he's given these guys the information. Now these guys are getting ready to fire. So they're firing on these vehicles, okay? And that's where his binoculars, I can tell he's using his binoculars because they're in blue and you can see the disc is lit up. So they're doing exactly what they should do. And they're gonna fire on these. Meanwhile, I'm gonna switch back to our guys. Now this is our point of view. I'm going to have my commander start making more noise and have these guys move up. Now I'm going to grab my commander's point of view and have him look around and have them start firing again and see what the Germans do. Alright. So he's seen these guys firing now, so he's going to give the orders. He's moved his binoculars around, got some more information. Now he should give these guys more information. Now they're firing because they got the new da data on where to, to fire. Let's go back to the German's point of view. Now the German's point of view, they've seen from their point of view, they now moved the binoculars. So if I grab... They moved the binoculars to where the sound was coming from, that the most dangerous part, and that's this mortar. So they've started to fire on these guys and kill them. So the, me the game mechanics work really good in my point of view. Their commander took some time. Now, he doesn't always take that much time, but in this scenario, random time, he came out, took a look around, got on his belly, got the binoculars out, took a while to see what was going on, seen these vehicles destroyed them and when our howitzer started making noise he went and changed his binocular from the vehicles to immediately to the howitzer told his guys he was within range told his guys to acquire to move their howitzers to this position and killed these guys during this whole scenario the german howitzer crew over here never fired once because they weren't they didn't have a spotter and they didn't have a commander and you can see there's no kills on their little tag down here now these guys of course we know did fire and uh, let's see if they got a kill yeah these guys got multiple kills 
So that's how the mechanic works. I think it's brilliant. Um, knowing this information, how the mechanics work in the game, is the difference between saying, oh, the, the AI is stupid and worthless, and it's the difference between that and realizing how actually intelligent to a certain degree the AI works. So knowing that, you can, you can set up your scenarios where your, your howitzers have observers in the field. You can have them stationary, you can set them on hold move, you can put binoculars in their hand or have the AI grab the binoculars and start looking on their own. You can have one uh, spotter or commander close to his guys so he can shout to them. You can have other commanders and spotters out in the field. As long as they're close to a chain of command and equipment to fire, they, they will. So that's how spotting and counter artillery work in the game. I think it's quite brilliant. And it allows you to set up scenarios where your single play is um, actually quite dynamic. I've, um, I've had many scenarios where I just have a commander. I don't, once in the game, I won't ever take control of my own howitzers. I will um, simply use a commander on the field to tell my guys what to do and I don't ever grab a gun and fire on my own. Um, you can have mortars, you can have howitzers, tanks, and you grab the commander close to what you want to fire. So if I want my howitzers to fire, as long as they're within range, I'll grab my howitzer commander and I will just take my binoculars and search for enemies. Once I find enemies, I will lock my binoculars on the enemies my howitzer group will fire on them on their own. Then I will, while they're doing that, I'll grab my tank commander somewhere in the field and use him to spot out and start firing on enemies and the, ta the tank crews will attack. If I have a mortar crew, I'll grab my mortar spotter and have him find some targets and they will automatically start firing their solution on those enemies. So you can see how spotting and long range fire in the game could, can really get good and interesting. So while that's all going on, then I can grab a tank and be a tank commander on my own and move into the field while I still have control over multiple commanders and weapons in the field. And you can do it all from the, uh, the tags here. So you can, you can know where your commanders are. So I'll have my different commanders on my little tag system here and can move exactly to wherever they are in the, immediately on the battlefield. So that's how spotting works in the game and that's the end of this video.